our sermon text for this morning comes from Psalm 46. Hebrew scripture of Psalm 46. And it states, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with this tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns, the nations are in an uproar, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations God has brought on the earth. God makes war cease to the end of the earth. The Holy One breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Our sermon title for this morning, Relying on God, our present help. Relying on God, our present help. Our sermon focus will center on verse 1. God is our refuge. I'm reading it again for emphasis. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, verse 1. And verse 6 the nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. God utters his voice. The earth melts. And then, verse 10. Be still. And know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. Psalm 46, New Revised Standard Version Bible. Relying on God, our present help. History tells us that this psalm, in its general spirit and purpose, resembles a hymn. But it does not conform to the normal structure of a hymn. But guess what? It is the basis for a hymn. For me, this psalm is my go-to psalm when I need to be Reminded about the power of God. The go-to psalm. When tensions of the world flood my psyche. 
And I must be brought back to reality regarding God and my relationship with God. And the benefits offered to me in being in relationship with the Holy One. Benefits in spite of myself. Because I can't act good. I'm imperfect. But those benefits that God offers, blessings because of the relationship. I connect to this psalm on a personal level. This psalm is usually called Luther's psalm, as in Martin Luther, as known as the Reformation leader. Now, just to give you a little background, Martin Luther was an ordained priest who was excommunicated. When, when he didn't agree with something, he wrote about it. He talked about it. But he's just or was just another human being who used Psalm 46 as a go-to psalm during his times of trouble. This Protestant reformationist had many, many troubles, as I said, like we all do from the pulpit to the pews to you watching virtually. We all experience troubles at different times and at different levels. But to what or whom do you turn to in and during the midst of your troubles? Is it food? Chocolates? Alcohol? Cheese and crackers? Being condescending, trying to put other people down to make yourself feel better? What do you turn to in the midst of your troubles. Martin Luther's hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, is based upon verse 7 of this wonderful psalm. And it states, The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress or as stated in the New Revised Standard Version Bible. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Reflect upon and remember a time when God has been your refuge, when God has been your safe place, when God has been your shelter, during danger or trouble. Now, let, let's leave the focus on that of Martin Luther. And in making reference to taking this Psalm 46 on as text, to bring you comfort, to bring me comfort, if you really internalize it and let it consume you. Has God been your refuge during the death of a loved one? Has God been your refuge during difficult financial times? Has God been your refuge when you were troubled about the well-being of your children, of your partner, of your spouse? So this text becomes relatable because we can look at various words and ask ourselves certain questions. For instance, 
What nations have you come up against? Verse 6 says, the nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. What nations? And it may not be traditional nations coming against us. A metaphor for trouble. The nation of fear within ourselves. The nation of loneliness. The nation of lost hope. The nation of anger. The nation of despair. Let's flip back to Brother Luther. He internalized this psalm and made it into a hymn, meaning he consumed it. And it made such a difference in his life that he made it into the hymn. How can you or will you internalize it to help you during times of trouble and turmoil? Hmm. I focus on God as our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble, verse 1. But for us to internalize that we have this help, we must take on verse 10, which says, Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. Two things we must know about ourselves. One, the tensions produced by modern life are increasing. And that each of us, whether you want the world to know it or not, has a breaking point. This means that unless we learn how to ease our tensions, they will break us. Therefore, we must learn how to be still in God and remember who God truly is. We are living in a very noisy world, filled with clatter. We have to develop strategies to block out the noisiness, the clatter, and be still in order to reflect upon that God has been our refuge and shelter in the past. We tend to forget. Sometimes you have to just turn off the news. Sometimes, and I know you all, many of you all, not all, refuse to get away from technology. Technology is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it is. But, you have to get away from anything and everything that's going to take you away from being still in the presence of God. This psalm is about trust and confidence in God. This psalm is about God being our protection when our personal nations rise up against those nations I spoke of in that of fear, loneliness, lost hope, anger, and despair. That, that's just to name a few. That's not all what we are up against daily. Yes, it's hard to be still. Maybe Martin Luther became still in the midst of his troubles when he wrote, a mighty fortress is our God. 
Listen to one verse. A mighty fortress is our God. A bulwark never failing. Our helper God amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient woe doth seek to work us woe. Let me read that again. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. God's craft and power are great. And armed with cruel hate on earth is not God's equal. No, we may not be hymnists and songwriters, but like Luther, we can go to that hymn and sing it, knowing that our bulwark, our protection against external danger is God. God, our giver of strong support. God, our giver of encouragement in the time of need. God, during times of danger and in those times of doubt and trouble. The world makes fun of us. And oftentimes, we as God's people just can't explain. But the peace that we receive from God is when we are still and reflect upon who God truly is during the times of trouble. The help that is provided. Are you willing to be still and reflect, I know that I am, there are times when I'm doing my devotionals in the morning. The troubles of the day come into my mind. How am I going to do this? How is this one doing? How are the emotions of my flock? Praying for the trust. I get away from just being still with God and honoring God because I want to solve it. But the strategy we need to put in mind, not trying to solve the problem without the guidance of God, but being still waiting in the presence of God, asking God to direct. Sometimes I have to say, Holy Spirit, bring my mind back. It's going off to trying to resolve. It's going off to trying to worry. Let me text this one to say, I didn't mean to do that or say that like that. And then the Holy Spirit say, wait, daughter, come back to me. Be still. All will be well. That nation of self-doubt can be removed if only you be still within me. That nation of worrying about if you said the wrong thing, it'll be okay. Because if you did say something wrong, all you have to do is go to the person and say, I'm sorry. But be in my presence. Be still. Be still and know how great God is. We have to learn how to rely on the present God. It says, God is, uh, is our refuge and strength. A very present help in the time of present. Not past help, but present help. With us all the time, walking with us. Talking to us if we would only listen. Relying on the present help. Are you willing to take that psalm 
and allow it to consume you during troubled times, during times you just don't understand, if you are, keep reading it this week. And watch how it provides peace. Watch how it provides calm. If you truly believe it, you can't just read through it and not believe it. And as you believe it, that's your hymn that's being written in your heart. God, a very present help in the time of trouble. We will rely on you, God. We have trust and confidence in you, God, no matter what the world says. Are you willing to rely on God, a present help in the time 